Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Sword, where today we have got to go learn about a steed. So let's get going. Can we fly back? We can we can fly back. Good. Hooray, we're back. So Mayor's house is over there. Hey buddy. Yeah, I, I put that back there. Yes. I have. That's right. Oh. Okay, so you're telling me go read every book by yourself because I can't be bothered to remember anything? Can you at least give me something to Google? I mean, I've got this Rodom phone. I bet it has the Googles. Oh, wow. I kind of want to read all of these. The king was a great Pokemon that brought abundance to our cold land. With a sweep of its right hand, the land would be blanketed in verdant grasses and blooms. With a sweep of its left hand, the fruit of the fields would ripen and grow heavy. Its great crown of green gleaming, the king galloped across the land astride its proud steed. And in their footsteps, buds would burst from the soil, and rich life was born across the region. And so we worshipped the Pokemon and paid it all due tribute as king. That was a really short book, but neat. The horse Pokemon gave over its power to serve the king and carry it hither and thither. The two even became one for a time, combining their strength to create a forest in a single night. This proud steed had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village crops and causing much woe. But the king, in all its greatness, brought this fierce creature to heal and secured its loyalty. And for each among us who claims the steed's hide was black as the midnight gloom in which ghosts appear, there is another who claims it was white as a block of solid ice. Are there actually two Pokemon and one's ghost type and one's ice type? None alive can now say which is the truth. Through these reins did the king send its power in order to tame and control its proud steed. The reins, in fact, were made by the hands of the people in thanks for the plenty brought by the king. These reins bound not only the horse and the king to one another, they bound the people to the king as well. At the dawning of each new year, we must never forget to gift the king with this offering. Let the radiant flower and the mane of the steed be woven together to bind us all in faith. Let the secrets of this sacred art be passed from parent to child to grandchild and never forgotten. Well, they got forgotten. While carrots can be grown in the crown tundra, they have rather, rather, they have rather unusual growth habits. When grown beneath the heaped snow, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. When grown in tracts close to where many souls are laid to rest, shade root carrots will be your crop. Shade root carrots are a favorite treat for many ghost type Pokemon, while ice type Pokemon seem to delight in eating ice root carrots. According to old fairy tales, the steed that the King of Bountiful Harvests rode upon loved both of these varieties. Or perhaps one or the other. Oh, really? It loved both or maybe one or the other? Gee. Records seem to contradict one another, with some stories speaking of a white steed delighting in ice root carrots, and others mentioning a black steed devouring shade root carrots. 
Okay, so now we know what we need. We need to get carrot seeds, and then we need to grow them somewhere. Can we get both seeds, or just one? Isn't it tough dealing with the cold here on the tundra, with temperatures seeming to drop lower and lower with every passing year? While it's tempting to stay indoors where it's cozy, don't forget to move that body, too. Try the Freezington Snow Samba today and get your body moving to stay warm all winter. Lift both hands in the air, wave here, wave there, bow low, touch your toe, and freeze. Then up we pop to start it all once more. Form a circle with friends, and don't be shy, the Snow Samba will keep you young at heart. Okay. Freezington Souvenir Brainstorming Sessions. Minutes taken by the town's tourism lead. We got a lot of submissions our last round, so our thanks to all who contributed ideas. We've settled on an idea for a new Freezington souvenir sure to lure in more visitors. A shirt featuring our own King of Bountiful Harvests. By reusing the artwork from some old documents, we should be able to keep design costs low, too. Okay. Wait, gotta talk to the carbink. Carrot to you, too. I just did read the book. Do you need me to get peony for you, or...? Crow row crown to you two. Um, only indirectly. Yes, it likes carrots and also could be white or black and like one of either of two varieties of carrots. Yes, also you need reins to control it. Uh, clearly the snow samba. No, it would find carrots irresistible. Yes. In order to find the king's beloved steed, I'll need to first get my hands on its favorite food, carrots. Maybe the people of Freezington can help me out. All right, time to go buy us some carrot seeds. I don't have enough. Well, I guess we gotta go have us a max raid battle. I hope we can get Dynite Ore from just regular max raid battles and not only from the, uh, uh, the Dynamax Adventures. Because if it's only Dynamax Adventures, well, that'll be a little unfortunate. Because those take time. And while I do, in fact, have time, I don't want to spend all of it. Oh, hi, Eevee. No, wait, we have a neat arena. Yeah, yeah. Horn as hard as diamond, etc. Was that an Eevee I just heard? Yes, yes, it was. A Grimmsnarl, huh? Sure, I can fight Grimmsnarl with Grimmsnarl. Wait, 
That's not the Soul Rock guy, is it? Okay, good. It's a Snorlax guy. My Grim Snarl's bigger. was not as much as I was hoping to see. Oh boy, a shield. So those are still things, I guess just not in the, uh, not in the Max, Dynamax Adventures. Oh cool, low battery. Well, time to not worry about that for a bit. Should be fine. I feel like Brick Break should break more shield doobers. Because, like, that's kind of its whole point, is breaking through shields. Selfishly healed only yourself. Wait, that Snorlax seriously used Giga Impact on a shield? I bet I would have done more damage if a shield wasn't about to pop up. Just that one fact. The fact that shields popping up stops damage from happening is the worst part of max raid battles. Like, if it was 2 HP away from having its shield pop up and you hit it with something that was quadruply effective from a six times boosted Pokemon should do crazy, crazy huge damage, but it'll only do two damage because it's time for the shield to pop up. And that is, in my opinion, the worst decision they made. Max raid battles are cool in concept, but in execution, there's just a few things they did very wrong, in my opinion. Like, look, that through the shield did more damage than the attack we did that raised the shield in the first place. And that's just wrong. Bye, Clefairy. Yeah, why not? I know this one's not a shiny, but you can still grab it. One Dynite Ore, really? Guess we need to get another. But I don't want to 
to do the Galvantula, but I guess it's the only one that's nearby, so we'll go for it. Wait, what was that? Neither of those is what just showed up. There was something brown, I think. But oh well. Am I even missing any brown Pokemon? Probably. Alright. For this one, we'll go ahead and use Bunsen. Simply because fire-type moves will work. Time for some G-Max Centifernos. Kinda wish they didn't effectively progression create the uh, Crown Tundra story behind doing a few of these. I mean, there might be other ways to get Dinodor, but I don't know of them. And clearly I would know, because I've been playing this for almost two days now. I've spent almost an hour and a half, well actually I think just over an hour and a half playing Crown Tundra stuff. So clearly I would know. Would have liked to see more there. Yeah, from a crit. Yeah. Darn shields. Cool. Togepi. Yeah. Cool. That means we're actually getting through the shield next round. Wow, good job trying to Electro... Oh, Electro Web is an area attack, I guess. I was going to say good job picking Mudbray off for that, but... Yeah. Okay, so this thing is definitely going to get one more shield, which is very unfortunate. But if we're lucky, it'll pop up before our next turn, so we can at least take off two ticks of it before. Yeah. Because it definitely does feel a lot better to hit with a Dynamax Pokemon so that you actually take multiple ticks off the shield. That freaking soul rock. Oh good, he's actually attacking with it. Because usually what he does is just buff himself constantly despite the fact that the Dynamax Pokemon is just going to get rid of all buffs. It's just a complete waste of a slot most of the time. Good job, Mudbury. There you go. One Pokeball. So this should get us our second piece of Dynite Ore, which should be enough to buy a Carrot Seed. I feel like we're getting fleeced here.
All right, now that we've got our dynite ore, I mean, I guess we're not very far from here. We could have just rode back, but flying back is fine. All right, buddy, you owe me a carrot seed. Yeah. Hey, buddy, I got carrot seeds. Yes. Yes, it does. That's right. I was specifically told not to plant them there. Oh. I bet there's exactly two places. Okay, so that's the snowy place. And that's the ghosty place. Well, I choose gravestones because I like ghost types. Welcome back, Peeny. Right? Um, no, I don't think that's it. Upon hearing that I was able to find carrot seeds, Calyrex told me about two fields where I can grow the carrots. I need to pick either the field covered in snow or the field by the graves and plant the seeds. So... Wow, I, I didn't get very far. Munched all up by the bully in white. Crunched by the bully with a ghostly gloom. Well, again, I like I like ghosts. So they're marked on the map. Okay. <laughs> Sneeze. Felt that one coming for a while, actually. So... This looks like the general vicinity of where the thing was. Oh, sparkle. So, right here, then. Or no, because these fields are bad, we were told as much. Got a hyper potion, though. Um, where, where, oh, we need to go down below. Is there a way down? Yeah, this, this is a ramp over here. Hooray. Oh, Needle Queen. Another evolutionary line ready to complete. There we go. Get in the ball and stay in it. Oh, I guess you don't know what's good for you. Nice scratch. Uh, let's go with a spirit break. I think it might be not very effective. Yeah, okay, good. And then we can 
I guess do an Ultra Ball. We don't have many, but they work. Ooh, critical. There we go. Nito Queen is better at defense than offense. With scales like armor, this Pokemon will shield its children from any kind of attack. Oh. I guess Electivire is going to be a thing then. And yeah, I know I'm not going the direction I'm supposed to, but... I saw... Yeah, I know my battery's low. I saw this. Okay, I shouldn't have come for it. Encore. I just don't like it. I know it's really good in certain situations, but... I don't like it. And one more. Hi, Magikarp. Seeing that Magikarp jump out like that reminded me that Pokemon Snap is getting a sequel, and I am super here for that. I played through that game so many times back in the day. Ooh, Aerodactyl, come here. Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's right, come here. There we go. And you should be a good little boy and stay in this ball. There we go. Back in my day, we needed to give a scientist some old amber to get an Aerodactyl. This is a ferocious Pokemon from ancient times. Apparently, even modern technology is incapable of producing a perfectly restored specimen. Th this isn't perfectly restored? I mean, I found this thing in the wild, so... Apparently, they've been restored well enough to be able to make more of them. Wow, just wild dragapults, huh? Apparently someone offered a grave a pearl string. Oh, hang on. I thought I saw something. Shadow Ball's good. Uh, yes, I do want to plant the seeds here. Am I gonna have... Okay, good, I'm not gonna have to go... Wow, really? You brought him all the way here? Yeah. Yeah, it must have been. Yes. I like ghost types. Pat Pat is right. Okay. Crow now. Round woe. Crow round. So I guess the uh, shuffle is passed down from him. Rumble, 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 doink.
Okay. Hang on. This is probably giving me an opportunity to save. That is a gross looking carrot. Okay. Sure. Any idea where those are? Oh, hi. Shade. Spectria. Okay. Shroom, shroom. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. Calyrex was able to grow a shade root carrot from the seeds I planted in the field by the graves. The scent of the carrot lured Spectrier out, but it ran off toward Freezington. Wow, wild sinistee, huh? What are you? Oh, Nidoran. I do kind of want to use a Dragapult. I might catch one. Maybe I will uh, get myself a lower level team just sourced from the wilds. That could be interesting. Though getting a cohesive team sourced from the wilds might be a little tougher. Oh. Would you look at that? Oh wait, this is Sinisty. That was a Poltygeist. Well, we're actually on a mission here. We're supposed to go try and save the town from an evil horse. Probably our last chance to save before fighting it. I kind of like that the hooves are detached from the legs. It's a nice touch. Wait! Shade to you too. I'm liking the music. Okay, but can I throw a Pokeball at it? Well, we know it's a ghost. We win. to you too. Did that horse just bark at me? Crack round. 
Schön! Okay, what good is this? I mean, yeah, I guessed it belonged to the horse, but like... Uh, by making them reins. Yeah, that's because it is that Pokemon? No, you're not. Yes. Oh. So we need to get the king to grow Radiant Blossom. Got it. Yeah. No problem. Seriously, is no one else even looking over there? Back to the usual spot, huh? Okay. Let's go see what the lowdown is. Hey, buddy, what do you need to grow a radiant blossom? No problem. Well, about that. Yes. Oh, so we're hosed then. Oh. Okay. Where? How? When? Do, does it grow on top of your head? Crownus Bloomus? Uh, that's a petal, not a flower. Just pointing that out, that, that's not a whole flower. Those eyes, though. Okay. Yeah, I've spoken to him. Well, let's go see about that. Or is he going to not be at home and we need to go find him somewhere else again? Okay, he is at home. Hey, uh, we've got a petal and some hair. I'm told you can do something with those. Yes. Hmm. Well, I've, I've got a petal. Yes. Yes, it would mean that. No, please do hope. Yep, got both. You got them.
Please do. I'm sorry, but what objects were making those sounds? I'm not surprised. What, are you suddenly some renowned craftsman? Oh. Yeah, I'm here. I know the battery's low, come on. Here's what happened. Uh, make some rains. Oh. Blossom woven round and round. A royal gift in man's hair bound. Okay. That wasn't a song. That was... That was two lines. I guess it will work, because the game said that they are the exact thing we need. So, um, g good job making those. Oh. Was it? Could you make it in a different color for me? I guess. Yes, it has. Why are you here? Don't you need to go hold the fort? Yeah, they were. Don't perish any thoughts, buddy. didn't put on any of his mlurg. Yes. Uh, I'm a little worried about Peeny, though. He might get a case of frostbite, so uh, you should make this quick. Yes, I did it. Oh, good. Okay, sounds like the kind of place a legendary Pokemon would like to hang out. Probably. Ah. Sure. Okay. Oh, you're taking him with you, are you? I'm worried for his health. Using the main hair I got by defeating the Pokémon that was once the king's loyal steed, along with the radiant petal grown by Calyrex itself, I was able to recreate the reins of unity. Now I need to head to the crown shrine, where the steed's been living, to meet up with Calyrex. Alright, yeah, I do need to do that, but I'll do it next time, because this episode has gone on long enough. Join us next time when we go to the shrine. See you then, friends.